So we're taking a look at reserved instances, also known as RI, and these are going to give you the best uh, long-term savings. And it's designed for applications that have steady state, predictable usage, or require reserved capacity. So what you're doing is you're saying to AWS, um, you know, I'm going to make a commitment to you, um, and I'm going to be using this over an X period of time, and they're going to give you savings, okay? So this reduced pricing is going to be based on three variables. We have term, class offerings, and payment options, and we'll walk through these things to see how they all work. So for payment options, we have standard, convertible, and scheduled. Standard is going to give us the greatest savings uh, with 75% reduced pricing, uh, and this is compared, obviously, to on-demand. Uh, the th thing here, though, is that you cannot change the RI attribute Attributes, attributes being like instance type, right? So whatever you have, you're you're stuck with it. Now, if you need a bit more flexibility because you might need to have more room to grow in the future, you'd look at convertible. So the savings aren't going to be as great. We're looking at uh, up to 54%. But now you have the ability to, let's say, change your instance type to a larger size. You can't go smaller, but you can always go larger. Uh, and you're, But you're going to have some flexibility there. Then there's scheduled. And this is when you need to reserve instances for a specific time period. This could be the case where you always have a workload that's predictable every single uh, Friday for a couple hours. Uh, and the idea is by telling AWS that you're going to be uh, doing that on schedule, they will give you savings there. That's going to vary. The other uh, two things is term and payment options. So terms is how long are you willing to commit? One year or a three-year contract? The greater the, the, uh, the terms, the greater the savings. And you have payment options. So you have all upfront, uh, partial upfront, and no upfront. No upfront's the most interesting one because you could say, um, you know, I'm going to use the server for a year, uh, and you and you'll just pay at the end of the month. And so that is a really good way of saving money um, uh, right off the bat. A lot of people don't seem to know that. So, you know, mix those three together and that's going to change the uh, the outcome there. And I do here have a graphic to show you that you can select things and to just show you how they would um, uh, uh, estimate the actual cost for you. Uh, a couple things you want to know about reserved instances that can be shared between multiple accounts within a single organization. And unreserved RIs can be sold in the reserved instance marketplace. So if you do buy into a one or three year contract, you're not fully out of luck because you can always try to resell it to somebody else who might want to use it. So there you go.